Let's talk about resolutions now. We're seven days in the new year. Hopefully, you're meeting your goals or at least giving it a good effort. But if you need a little extra encouragement, we have it for you today. Dr. Aaron Ambrose is joining us, William Jessup, University professor and clinical psychologist. Thank you for coming in. Glad to be here. What's the biggest reason why people start getting hung up on these goals? I think people trip. We all trip but they get stuck on those failures. You know, if they had a bad day and they didn't do what they had set out to do, they kind of think it's all, all gone at that point instead of recognizing that oh, we had a misstep, I'm going to start again tomorrow. Is it because we, we make the goal too broad rather than maybe breaking it down into steps? Is that the biggest issue that, that we have? That can often be the issue when people um, have a, a ginormous goal. So for example, let's, let's give an example that might be a common one. I'm going to lose 50 pounds. In, it's great to have a big goal. You can have a big goal of I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be healthier this year. But we need to have small steps to follow. Okay, so in that case, maybe you might start with I am going to lose five pounds. Or even I'm going to eat more healthily this year than I did last year. I'm going to include more vegetables and fruits in my diet. So make them a little bit more manageable as you do it. Right, right. And get people to join with you in that. They don't have to have the same goal. You know, we, we all can have different goals, but if you can have someone who can be an accountability person for you, so if your goal is say, I'm going to eat more fruits and vegetables, you might have someone that's going to call you once a week and say, How'd you do on your eating fruits and vegetables this week? Do you, do you like social media as being that? that accountability factor? Because I know there's a lot of people posting that kind of thing over, over the holidays. I have, I have mixed thoughts I, about I thought that. you might. And so what are those thoughts? Um, you want the people who are really going to be your supporters, your, your cheerleaders, who are going to be your accountability people. If you have a broad amount of people in your social network, and some of them might be more detractors, or might, because of their own stuff, oh, just let's go ahead and go have some, you know, junk food today or, mm -hmm. or whatever, then that might not be such a good thing. So you might want to be a little more choosy about who so those your one-on-one -on -one relationships might be. They you might know, be traditional better. traditional in-person relationships. They might, might be, be a, a little bit that. better. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are the best ways to stay focused just in general when you have a goal or a resolution? To keep positive to keep focused on those positive things. If you can turn your goal, even if your goal is to not have junk food, again, if you can have the positive, eat more healthy, we're more likely to do positive things and, and stick with those than to avoid the negative mm -hmm. stuff. It's hard when you have that day, though, where you really just messed up. Because to me, I think a lot of people, they think, well, the streak is done. Yeah. I, I'm done with the goal. And that's not really the case. There's nothing magical about January 1st. I mean, we all like that as the start of the new year, and we feel fresh about it. But there's nothing magical about it. You can restart today. You can restart on March 11th, April 8th. It doesn't matter. You can restart any day. Just keep moving forward. I heard once that it takes 30 days to form a habit. Would yep. you buy that? Yes. yes. Yeah. And again, better to add things in easier to add things in than take things away. So adding more healthy food as opposed to I'm not going to eat junk food again. Focusing on the positive is more you're more likely to stay with it. Makes sense. Dr. Ambrose, thanks for coming in.